Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be revisiting an, um, an old idea that I had. And this is a four tier pocket out of window envelopes. So you got a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. So we're gonna be making one of these. Um, on my other video I did it a little bit differently. I glued it directly to the page, but I've learned how to glue the pockets together before I've glued it to the page and I can glue it to the page later. So I'm going to show you that today. And I just got to move that out of my way. And let's see here. So you take an envelope that has these little windows. And I'll tell you what my window measures once I remember where my room is. Okay, let's cross the room. So the window itself is almost four and a half. I added three eighths of an inch to this side, three eighths of an inch to this side. That gives me a five and a fourth inch pocket, which is about just right for a page. I added another three eighths to each side for the flaps. You can add three eighths of an inch to the top and then cut around it to where you have this piece here. Or you could ignore the three eighths of the inch at the top and instead put three-eighths of an inch at the back okay and then I mean you get the same thing you get the same pocket but one of the folds are, is already folded for you that's the difference so whenever you cut it out like this and then you cut the back flap you end up with this so it's kind of the same thing either way but again if you need to pause it so that uh, oh, I added half of an inch to the top and half an inch to the bottom but that's it. That's my template thing <clears throat> that I refer to. Okay, and then you fold, you know, that's three eighths of an inch, this three eighths of an inch, and this three eighths of an inch. So that you have this piece. Okay, and we actually have a couple that we're going to do. And then I have some that's already done. So that this video doesn't take forever. So we're going to get our YooHoo glue stick or whatever glue stick you like using. And then we're going to get some strips of colorful paper and get to gluing them down. So this paper, if you haven't watched all my previous videos, uh, it's just painted paper with watercolors from Crayola. So really simple. Oh, I say it's simple. It takes a while to do. <laughs> it takes a while to do. So, But I like it regardless. Okay, um, just trying to figure out what's going to be my next piece. i got a pile over here of scraps. Let's do some of this one, maybe some of this one actually. Yeah, the orange. Okay. I don't know why I put so much glue on it, I wasn't thinking. But anyways, there's that piece. Um... Maybe we'll do this. I think that's from the same page, actually. Here, we have some of this purple. Let's do some of it. And we'll do the pink for the bottom. And we'll cut it all out. Once I grab the right scissors, I have my fabric scissors laying beside me, almost, almost reach for them. Never mix your fabric scissors with paper. all cut out there and then <clears throat> go ahead and lay some color down on this one that 
piece there. Maybe I'll do some yellow. for the bottom. Maybe we'll do this piece. It's quite fun and colorful. Actually, let's put some of that maybe on the top. No, oh, that's the back. Let's do the front. Let's put that right there. Okay, and then now I need a piece for at the bottom. I'm over here separating papers that got glued together. <laughs> Let's do that piece. Am I still on camera? I noticed my paper got pulled around. Okay. Now I gotta cut around this one. I keep gluing to the wrong side of this paper. That side's shiny. I wish I would have used that side. I only notice it whenever I start to pull it up to my face. Whoops. Okay, don't cut into your envelope. Just want to cut around the envelope. these scraps out of the way <clears throat> get my glue lid back on reach for my black ink paper out from underneath these because I keep touching a whole lot of glue. So. Okay, so then we have some that I've already done. And let's see. Just going to look at it and see. Kind of which ones go together. So I think that's just fine. I do want to add those something to this piece. Let's see about some of this. This sequin stuff comes on a roll uh, off of Amazon. looking. I'll go ahead and add some of this to the top of that one. Get the paper off of it. Paper is stuck down to it. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and glue those together now with my art glitter glue. So what you need to do is just glue a little bit right there, a little bit right there in the corner. Then we're going to line it up here. Just like so. Then we'll pick up these two. Put just a little bit of glue here. Just a little bit of glue there. Again, just line it up. Anybody else who films knows that everything goes smoother off camera. <laughs> I'm over here struggling with this compared to what I usually do. So, a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there. So if you notice me ever struggling on camera, I promise you it probably went better off camera. And it'll probably be a whole lot easier for you than what it looks like it is for me. Okay, so now that we have that one all glued together, we're going to look and see where we might want it in our um, journal. So I'm just going to set that other piece aside to put with some other ones. And I already have my pages marked off in this journal as to which ones I could use, so that makes it a little bit easier. Got these little magnetic um, clips on my pages. So we could use this page. I don't really like it. Okay, let's flip to another magnetic clippy piece. I think that's the only other one. Oh, or maybe it's not. Let's see here. Oh, it's the only one I've seen, but I do like it on that page. Let me make sure that is the right side. Yeah, I could use that side. I could probably use either side, really. But I do think that I like it on this side. So that's what we're going to go with. So now to attach it to the page. As you can see, I did not get those very even. <laughs> like I said, it goes better off camera. So we're going to put some glue on each and every one of these flaps. I'll pull it up a little bit closer. Hopefully I'm still on camera. little bit of glue on the hand because you know it's part of crafting I mean you're not a true crafter if you don't have glue all over your hands I'm just kidding it's not true but it's just the way it seems <laughs> every crafter has glue on their hands it seems like although I've heard people say that they've learned to use like tape double-sided tape and glue dots and all kinds of stuff I'm over here like I don't know nothing about that <laughs> I'm just over here with glue and paint and everything else on my hands Okay, so that's our pocket page in a rainbow journal. Um, as you can see, it looks like we could almost put another pocket, but we really can't. I've tried it. Um, I mean, you could you could barely get it, but I mean, it's going to be a little bit over the page. Let me flip it up, flip the page over so that you can see. You see what I mean? It's a little bit. The pocket's going to go over the page. I guess if I would have pulled it down ever so slightly, I mean, you could you could make it work. You could fudge a little bit. You know, pull this down a little bit extra past the page and then it would be a little bit over but not as much you could make it work but I'm okay with this so just going around pressing everything down making sure it gets all stuck correctly but that's it that's our pocket page we'll fill it in some following videos so thanks so much for watching guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will make these um, window envelope pocket pages um Enjoy your day, and I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Bye, guys.